in the following video, we're going to introduce some of the terms and definitions that we will be using in this lesson involving linear programming. Now, linear programming is defined as the process of finding the extreme values, which are going to be either the max or minimum, of a function for a region defined by inequalities. And so that region that's defined by inequalities, it's what we were finding before. Uh, when we graphed a system of inequalities, we looked for the overlapping of all the shaded regions. And that was our solution space. And so it's going to be the same idea. We're going to be graphing a system of inequalities in that region we're going to use to find extreme values based off of a function. And we're going to call that region the feasible region. The feasible region is the possible solution area by the system of inequalities. It's what we refer to as the overlapping of the shaded regions. And so when we found this before, overlapping the shared regions, that was our solution space. When we deal with linear programming, we call it our feasible region. And so now we look at what the maximum and minimum values are. Now the maximum value is the ordered pair, the coordinate of intersection. Same thing with the minimum value, the ordered pair, the coordinate of the intersection of the feasible region. For maximum, it's going to give you the largest value for the function. And for minimum, it's going to give you the smallest value of the function. And so the intersection is what we found before when we were dealing with the problems that uh, find the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle formed by the solution space. And when we found those vertices of that triangle, you know, those are the intersections of the inequalities. And so the maximum minimum values, when it says the ordered pair, the ordered pair, what they're talking about are these vertices. of the feasible region. And we found those before. It's not too hard. And so constraints are your limitations. It's the idea of, you know, y being less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, you know, the constraints for each inequality. And we've already said the vertex is a point in the graph. It changes directions. You know, those vertices are going to create your maximum or minimum value for it. And then we have our bounded region and our unbounded region. Now the bounded region is enclosed by the constraints. It's inside the constraints. And the unbounded then is outside those constraints. The unbounded is not going to contain the maximum or minimum value, but the vertices of the bounded region, one of those will either be the max or one of those is going to be the minimum values. So you see how kind of it all becomes connected. You now your bounded region is enclosed by the constraints. The feasible region is contained within this boundary region. You know, the vertices form those boundary regions. And the coordinates of those vertices, when you plug them into the function, is going to give us the maximum or the minimum value. And so a lot of these terms are going to come up throughout this lesson. So make sure you're at least familiar with them before you continue on.